So here's a question we get asked a lot. What does it mean if you have a CNR license and you buy a CNR machine gun? John Keen, NFA expert from Morphe's auction company, what the, does it mean? The answer is a carry and relic license that pertains to a machine gun means that you may have that machine gun transferred from whomever has it directly to you across state lines without having to go through an NFA dealer in your state. Again, as long as uh, your state allows machine guns in it. There are some states that simply don't recognize carrying relic licenses, and you can't bring anything carrying relic in on that carrying relic license because that's state law. But, uh, to, but for instance, if you, Ian, in uh, Arizona, have a carrying relic license, and you bought something like, say, a Chatellero from the auction company, um, you could just provide me with a copy of your CNR license. I would prepare the ATF Form 4 tax pay transfer uh, for a signature. Owner of the company would sign it. We'd send it to you. You would get yourself fingerprinted. Everything else is same fingerprints, photographs. Send it into the BATF with $200. Uh, right now it's taking six to nine months for the transfer of a tax pay transfer to you for the CNR holder. They'd send the approved transfer back to me. I would call you and give you the good news and we'd be able to send the gun right to you. If the gun was not a Kieran Relic registered gun under those circumstances, then uh, you would give me the, the, uh, the FFL and SOT number of the dealer in your state of residence. And I would transfer the gun to that dealer and then that dealer would do the same form for to you. And that's how that would work. All right, so it lets you skip one step in the process, but you still have to do the same standard NFA transfer, paperwork and background check. Correct. As in any the other process for, you to, for the gun to come to you is the same. And it does cut out the, the middleman dealer and the middleman dealer who may charge money that you don't want to pay, but it's probably a pretty nominal fee. I've also had clients who have been concerned that their uh, dealer uh, that they don't know very well might be taking the guns out and shooting them without the actual owner's permission. We all have ways to deal with that, though, and ship the gun but not the bolt <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, uh, so there's your answer. So CNR gets you to skip a step. Cool. Thank you, John Keaton. All right.